Schools and child care centers are about to open up. The parents are afraid that their kids will get infected and bring it home. The teachers are scared of getting infected by the children and passing it on to their families. What do you think? Maybe we shouldn't be opening up the schools or the child care centers? I would not be opening anything right now. I would transition all education to online learning. The kids are very receptive to it. They're all over the internet sites anyway. This is what I would channel their assignments and education through. There are wonderful materials. You have everything there. You can give instant assignments and start working on it with them right away. Regular daily quizzes can be administered and everything else. In short, everything is up to us. What about the physical connection of children with each other? The physical connection can be such that it allows them to meet and have contact with each other. But that is not required for learning. They learn on their own, with pen and paper and a display, and a teacher. All that is available on a computer. What about child care, if parents have to go to work? There's an easy solution for the child care centers. The kids can get used to doing morning exercises via the computer, have assignments, communicate with virtual animals, people, and so on meaning to embed the habit of virtual connection. So even the very young kids, the child care age you'd put in front of screens? Of course. Just imagine putting a boy inside a plane. He is sitting there with all these controls. Next to him is a pilot, an adult, teaching him how to maneuver. Can you imagine the possibilities? Do you realize what you're offering to this child? The same goes for a ship or a submarine. This is not a movie. You're showing them about other people. He is the one who's interactively participating in all this. He can even be a surgeon if so inclined. He can listen to a heartbeat and learn how everything works. You must make it all interactive. Make it his life. And when he grows up, he understands what all of these things are. I'm getting excited by all this. Of course. Could you imagine yourself being a little kid, how it would have captivated you? Indeed. I'd sprint to the monitor just to be able to do it. I can be together with somebody, a pilot or a surgeon, a doctor. Not to mention that you can choose the professions that interest you. You can educate a child this way about different jobs, show him everything that is out there, make it interactive as if he's running after a wolf or some other animal in the forest, or as if he's trying to capture something or communicate with someone. So you take all the games with killing and kidnapping and replace them with the constructive educational ones? Yes. This is how you develop a person. He experiences all of it and is getting educated through it. Would you cancel all the games with violence that are flooding the web? Absolutely. Absolutely everything that exists to this day. You think that they're a terrible influence, right? There is nothing good about them. We have to create only these certain interactive programs for the kids, for them to feel engaged in life. And these programs would be the right ones. Why don't we do it? Who's interested in this? Well, you're describing it to me now and I'm getting very excited. If I knew how to create such programs, I would build them. Give me the means, some money, people, we would be creating only these kinds of programs. Of course. You would be able to raise children the way you want. You would show girls how to care for babies with diapers, etc. Teach them how to take the baby for a walk. This is a child doing everything herself. She has her picture taken. Yes, you can do that now with a complete feeling of reality. So she's the one taking a baby for a walk. She can see herself from the side, etc. And maybe not even from the side, but through her own eyes. This is life. Then let me ask you about the third factor, the toddlers. Up to what age do you believe a mother has to stay home with her child? To be paid for an extended leave from work without going to work. Usually kids are dropped at daycare centers starting at six months old, if not younger. Until 12, 13 years old. 12 to 13 years old? Yes. To pay the mother to stay home with her child? This would no longer be a child, but a full person. Yes. But you're saying that this can be done interactively. Yes, interactively, but he needs to devote most of his time to this. But in any case, you would keep the mother at home with either a boy or a girl until 10 or 12 years of age. Yes, but they would still have a third or half a day for being outside. When a designated person comes and takes boys on a trip to the museum or a sports court. You mean a coach or a teacher who collects boys in a certain neighborhood? 
to show them the real physical world, is that right? And teaches them how to communicate together also. So this is a daily activity, right? Once a day, a two, three hour walk, followed by a two, three hour session of athletic games on a court. You've depicted a beautiful world just now. Why can't we bring it to fruition? What's involved? We don't have to build anything for it. We have to change ourselves, that's all. We keep simplifying the task, sending everyone to work, sending kids to daycare or schools, forgetting about them for half a day. Yes. Is that our motivation? Yes. Is our egoism the basis for this? Is this too nothing but ego? This is the only way our ego operates, unfortunately so. So I just want to have less problems, but in essence, there's only more and more of them. Say la vie. That would be so wonderful though. The picture you just drew for us is so beautiful. It's very simple. Well, I doubt that it's simple, but it's very beautiful. It's not simple because of our nature, our egoism, but this is in our hands.